Hey everybody, it is 6.30. I'm a little late. I don't know what happened. I lost track of time, but uh, here's what's been going on. Hopefully some of y'all can, can join in. You get a little notice. Uh, who had a good Halloween? Good Halloween. We had a party here. A bunch of kids running around in the woods, uh, hanging out. The, uh, the parents all dressed up. So lots of fun here in Vermont for Halloween, but then... Uh, Man, the next morning I woke up, my my knee was all puffed up and, and achy and hurting. And m maybe it was when I had to put on the hazmat suit and let a bunch of kids throw paintballs at me that I might have tweaked my knee here or there or something. Uh, you know, I also, whatever, I've been been fighting some some issues with my knee for, for my whole life. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think my knee has got me, got me out of the, off the bike for a couple days anyway. So... Here, I, I had a massage uh, yesterday for the first time in probably a year. And um, so so uh, hopefully that, that'll loosen some things up. And um, anyway, my knee's going to be all right. But the point is that I am resting and I put ice on it twice today and compression and uh, trying, to, trying to, to get it to heal and giving it time to, to do so. So... Uh, coincidentally, hey, I was on the phone with uh, my good friend Jason Alosio, and we were talking about some other things. And I was complaining that I couldn't ride my bike this week because my my uh, my knee hurt. He said his knee's been hurting for a month. So we we ended up with a friendly competition. So now I'm icing, elevating, resting. Ice. I'm gonna fix my knee before he fixes he his knee. So a couple cycling. Uh, racers are in competition over healing so recovery being the, the key there and um, speaking of recovery how's, how's everybody doing this recovery week taking it easy uh, did you all see the recovery post that Matt Welsh posted so thank you Matt for getting that going and the recovery techniques in there are, are uh, great you know I pinned that to, to featured in our Facebook group so Check that out, add to it, keep it going. I want all the techniques there going. Um, yoga seemed to be the big thing. Everybody's into yoga and doing yoga in different times and lengths. And um, Teresa, that's that's great for for you, right? I mean, you're in the you're in the good field. So yoga seemed to be most common, but also foam rolling, stretching. Uh, here, Theragun. Theragun right here on my desk. I keep it so I can just get up, hit my quads, hit my uh, IT bands, my calves, my hamstrings, and uh, hit it, hit it with that thing. Those those are awesome. Um, oh no, Kaylin, you did the he did the PZ Max this morning, <laughs> or just one? Did you do it from from uh, next week for Monday? So did, uh, we're we're getting to that. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Um, all right, even strength training was one of the techniques, I think, for, for recovery. And I agree, actually. I think some light strength training can actually bring a recovery effect. I'm, I'm okay with that. As long as it's easy and you're not trying to create a strain that you're, uh, that you're sore from. A different one, Kaylin. All right. Um, so I like these things that move you in different directions than cycling. In cycling, we really just do flexion and extension. And we're sitting on the bike. And we're kind of stuck in, in one movement. And... Um, it, it, it can really create some imbalances if you're not fit exactly perfect, but I think you still need to move in other directions. So yoga is awesome for that. Stretching is awesome for that. Uh, and, and that's why I like strength, big dynamic strength movements, but nothing too, too heavy. So, uh, I also like hydrate, extra hydration. Uh, I've got this usually sitting on my desk, 90 ounces of water. I try to fill that three times. Uh, maybe a little extra protein during recovery week is a good idea. All awesome, awesome uh, comments in that post. But I uh, got a shout out for Jackie. Jackie Sincota, Sincota, uh naps, extra sleep, naps, naps. Yes. I tell my kid, she's seven, uh, you grow when you sleep. <laughs> you adapt when you sleep. You, you recover when you sleep. So we need extra sleep, especially during recovery week. Uh, my other shout out for Earl McDonald for the Normatec boots and the ice bath, then sauna, ice bath, then sauna, back and forth. Uh, that's awesome. If you're not ready for a full ice bath, which uh, people who do it, they love it. Start with, how about just some cold water on your face? Um, 
our nervous system, we're made up of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, okay? Sympathetic is the gas, the go, the go, the fight or flight. Parasympathetic is the brakes or slow down, rest, recover, okay? Just real simple to simplify that whole thing. Uh, this day and age, it's really common for us fast-paced, highly productive, motivated, responsible, busy, stressed family members and athletes to be stuck in the go phase or the uh, or the sympathetic nervous system turned on. Uh, we need to get to a state to promote an environment where we can recover, repair, replenish, adapt. That's what we're trying to do. So a lot of recovery happens off the bike. We write recovery rides, but really we're trying to uh, to uh, to promote an environment, and I think that happens off the bike. So cold water on the face or an ice bath, if you're if you're into that, can stimulate and train and rest your rest and recover or your parasympathetic nervous system, so that you can shut down more consistently. Uh, other techniques are deep, slow breathing. Okay, four seconds in, four seconds out is another technique, and that's just the beginning of meditation, uh, which is also an awesome, an awesome uh, technique. So if you're trying to calm your mind, you're trying to calm your nerve, your nervous system, of course your muscles, you're trying to get everything to rest and recover and adapt in, in um, uh, recovery week, but also between rides. So keep that post going. I think that's an important one. Because uh, we've got three more days till our overload week starts. You guys want to hear about the rides? And I uh, think, well, here the Monday, the Monday max ride is, it's, uh, yeah, this is overload week, okay? Just remember that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, eight second, eight, this is, here's how it goes. It goes eight, 15 second over under. So 15 seconds high, 15 seconds low. I'll just say it like that. Then six, 30, 15 second over under. So six seconds hard. I mean, uh, 30 seconds hard, 15 seconds easier, six of them. And then four sets, four sets of, of uh, 45, 15 over unders where 45 seconds is high, 15 seconds is low. And then you repeat the 30 15s and then repeat the 15 15s again. So they're each set is separated by two minutes and 45 seconds of recovery. Oh man. Uh, all right. I wrote the timer. If you're following the timers, I wrote 150% for the 15 15s, 135% for the others, the 30 and the 45% with recoveries at 55 percent this is a this is a hard ride in between the sets i wrote 70 percent uh look at it take a look at it listen to what i just said look at the timer uh if there's anything to to look at the the structure beforehand on peloton do so so that you know what's coming up um I, it might not be doable for everybody. It's a hard ride. You might have to miss a, a sprint here and there. You might have to lower your sprints. Here's what I suggest. If you know you're not going to make it, lower the 45 second intervals to 125 or 115%. And secondly, lower the 70% intervals between the sets. Lower that down to 55%. Uh, you can certainly take the, the, the pedaling between the hard intervals at 45%, 35%, even stop pedaling. The point is to work hard, stop, work hard, stop. It's a hard ride. So uh, I was just looking through the, the Facebook on the, <laughs> just a few minutes ago when I was supposed to be doing this this live and uh, shout out Ro Stuart Robert, Stu Baby, I think is your, is your leaderboard name who already completed this ride and posted his graph in the show us your graph post from uh, Chris Miller. Hey, thanks Chris Miller, by the way, for, for doing those every day and all of the welcome to the new team members and everything. You are a uh, huge help. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's get on to Wednesday. Let's get off that one. Wednesday is a PZ ride with four sets of 30 second zone fives, two minutes and 15 seconds zone threes, and 30 second zone fives. Okay. 30 seconds, 215, 30 seconds with two minute recovery in between. Um, 
115% for zone fives, 85% for zone threes. Again, that's a tough ride. Monday and Wednesday, it's, uh, we got you working. We got you working. Thursday, let's turn it down a little bit with a PZE. You have four, five, six, five, four minute zone three intervals with two minute zone twos in between, okay? Zone three, uh, or PZE, zone three, zone two, zone three, zone two. This is a Thursday ride. Use it as a recovery ride. So I like 80% and 70% if you're using the timers. Um, use it to get ready for Saturday, which is a one hour PZ. It's a harder ride. So three sets of four minute zone threes, five minute zone fours, four minute zone threes. Okay? Four, five, four with three minute recoveries in between. If you're following the timers, those intensities are 85% for zone three, 100% for zone four, and 70% of FTP for zone two, uh, or for the recoveries. Sunday is a PZE and three and four minute zone threes with zone two recoveries. And again, this is a Sunday ride, use it for recovery. I like 80% and 70% of FTP. Uh, yeah, Jeff, not gonna be happy with all the zone four. All right, TSS for the, the, um, for the week. If you're just taking the classes, if you're taking the classes, you are at 270. 270 weekly TSS for the week compared to 189 last week and 264 the week before. Okay, so a little bit of a jump. It is over the week. That's what we were ex expecting. Uh, if you're following the timers, it's 284 compared to 193 last week and 268 the week before. Overload week. Usually in overload week, uh, the off the bike topic is mental toughness. So, uh, Matt, are you feeling better? I think you were sick this week. <laughs> Good week for it. Hope you're doing better. Should we run a post on mental toughness? Can we do that? I would like people to tell us about obstacles overcome, opportunities taken, resilience, control, something you're proud of, any other thing that comes to mind when we're talking about mental toughness. Uh, get that post going Sunday, Monday, something like that. That'd be great. Let's use the rest of this week. It's Thursday. Let's use Friday, Saturday, Sunday to recover and show up Monday ready to perform, okay? Consistency being the overall goal. You want to be fresh for Monday so that you can come back Wednesday and Saturday next week being the key rides. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday being the key rides. Recovery is important between the rides next week as well. So, uh... Let, let's see what we can do and get through the whole thing. Speaking of consistency, we picked some riders who've been 100% consistent the week before at random. Karen White and Lee Connell. Congrats, guys. Uh, you'll get an email asking for your address. It is not spam. It's so that we can send you some swag, some TW swag. So thanks for being consistent and thanks for being in the program. Awesome. Uh, and so we're all shooting for, for consistency, but there's, there's so many good stories that are unfolding within the group and the community. I had the absolute pleasure of talking with Linda Marie last week and posting that, uh, for you all to listen to. And if, uh, she is just a rock star. And if you haven't seen the video or listened to our talk, do it. She's amazing. That, uh, that post is pinned to our featured section in the, uh, in the Facebook group. And I love doing these, but <laughs> sorry to anyone else who does these in the future. Linda really just raised the bar. It's gonna be, yeah, it, it's, she, that was great. So uh, if, you're, if you're in the Facebook group, enroll in the training plan. A ton of y'all just signed up for the Facebook group and are not yet in the in the training plan. So go ahead and enroll in the training plan. It's gonna be gonna be awesome. I got a whole plan for next year and uh, it, it's gonna be good. So come on the journey with us, do the rides, get fit, train smart, all that stuff. Uh, that's what I have for now. So if you guys are still talking to me after the rides next week, I will see you next Thursday. Hope you are. All right, see you.